Airport officials expect the project to be complete by the end of the year. Federal law requires funeral homes to accept third-party caskets. The project seeks to attract tourists to the county and preserve the historical tobacco barns. The county health board is exploring ways to fund the shelter's operation. In fact, nearly every product off this shelf was made right here in the Commonwealth. But making Meadowlark safer hasn't been as easy because a nursing home sits at its dead end. This building used to be a domestic violence shelter, but now the beds that slept nearly 23 victims are empty, the hallways are quiet, and the toy room is clean. It's quiet here because the organization Hopes for Wings does not have enough money to keep the shelter open. When we as advocates get calls, and we had nine calls in three days for people who need it, and they needed it then, and we didn't have any place to send them. And I can tell you from my experience, that is the most frustrating thing because I don't know where to send them. But at least Suzanne gets company about once a week from her two friends, Shannon and Clarity. Shannon lived in the shelter for nine months last year. She said the shelter helped her tremendously. Just to be able to not have to worry about, you know, where am I gonna sleep tonight? What am I gonna eat today? How am I gonna stay warm? You know, that, the, to not have to worry about that makes such a big change. On top of the fact of not having to worry about, you know, well, am I going to piss him off today? You know, what is he going to do to me today? The County Health Board is exploring ways to fund the shelter's operation. It is considered a property tax increase, but no final decisions will be made until June. But some people in the community do what they can to raise money for Hopes for Wings. The Richmond Register sponsored a Battle of the Bands and Raffle Saturday. The event raised nearly $1,500 for the organization. Perhaps later this year, the shelter will reopen, and Shannon and Clarity can inspire new residents with their story. Steve Kilburn for Madison County News. Madison County Airport will probably see more than just typical two-seat prop planes within the next year. These planes are owned by locals who use the airport for recreation and travel. Students train here as well. T-shirts they wore during their first solo flight are decorated and hung inside the hangar's wall. But the Kentucky Department of Aviation expects more commercial planes like this Meyer corporate jet to fly in and out of here. This is possible because a new taxiway and extended runway are being constructed. Many corporate plane insurers permit a 5,000 foot minimum runway length for their clients to use the runway. These improvements will bring a lot more uh, commercial traffic into the local area uh, just by allowing, or by giving these corporations permission from their insurance to land at our airport. Federal stimulus funds will pay for the nearly $1.3 million improvements. Airport officials expect the project to be complete by the end of the year. Other improvements include resurfacing the runway and implementing a new satellite instrument system, making landing safer. By extending the runway with the temperatures that get down here, we can, uh, of course, bring more people in, which that's what our goal is, to bring as many people as we can into this airport to help develop the uh, store. It seems like the sky's the limit for future commercial traffic. Steve Kilburn for Madison County News. The tools are pretty quiet on this construction site in downtown Richmond, but not the ones down the block inside this building. Kathy Courier's been repairing instruments for nearly 40 years. She's a store manager and luthier here at Courier's Music World. Instruments line up, waiting for Kathy to repair them every week. Depending on the job, she might work on five to ten per day. Courier's is the only instrument repair shop in Madison County. Every day I never know what I'm going to work on from any string instrument that's out there, any wind instrument, any brass instrument. You know, it's, not, it's just something different every day, and it's challenging. On any given day here at Courier's, a guitar might go from looking like this to looking like this. Like typical music stores, Courier sells books and a variety of instruments. From drums, 
to bluegrass instruments to electric guitars and amplifiers. But Couriers is different because it sells Martin guitars unlike any shop in the area. And Kathy is CF Martin certified. This makes Couriers one of two Martin certified repair shops in Kentucky. She's got the experience through her training with Martin, which is one of the highest and most respected guitar companies in the world. But no matter how good we are at something, some things just can't be fixed. Steve Kilburn for Madison County News.